Olivia, we've made it. Country number 24. And we've made it to the highest city in the world, La Paz. 4,000 meters above sea level. And I tell you, you can feel it in the chest. My lungs, it feels hard to breathe. Yeah. Like, and my head's a little bit tight. I'm thinking a couple days, we'll be fine. I have been very much looking forward to this country. So let's go see what there is. Let's go find some food. So normally, me and Lee walk quite fast. We call it our London walk. Yeah, when you've got somewhere to be. But now, we're walking downhill and we're still like out of breath. We're walking like half speed. We're gonna call this our Bolivia walk. Yeah. Or our La Paz. Just get out of breath so easily. Yeah. I feel so unfit. So of course, every country we go to, we need to try their version of an empanada. So this is my one, the nice big one. This Huge. is a pastel de queso. So it's a cheese pastry basically. And this is a pollo salteña, which is a baked empanada with chicken, I think it's got egg, potato, veggies in it, and they eat it for breakfast here, so that's what we're doing. Ah, it's hot. Oh. That looks good. Wow. Cheesy. Mmm. Mmm. It's pretty good actually, it's really salty. Nice. So we have come to the witch's market and this is probably the most famous thing to do in the Paz and they sell some all kind of unique and weird and wonderful things but we'll get more into that when we find it. This street is very cute and it's not that busy. Hola, es esto moco chinchi? Sí. Uh, uno? I'm out of breath. So next on our DIY kind of food tour, this is a moko, moko chinchi. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it's basically a like locally made cider made of peaches. But I don't think it's fizzy. It's very warm, which I was not expecting. That's nice. It doesn't taste like cider, it's just like fruit juice. This costs three bolivianos, which is like 30p. So is this alcoholic or not? I don't know. I don't taste it. With a peach inside. With a peach. Okay, so we found the witchy items, but the most famous thing here is a llama fetus. Pretty crazy, but basically, apparently, almost every Bolivian household has one buried underneath because it's supposed to be for good luck and it's like a offering to their kind of mother nature god, I think. But yeah, how crazy. And they're literally hanging up right here. At least surrounded by them. They like don't look real, but they do. So they also, I think they make all these different types of soaps with obviously different ingredients have different healing properties and you, <laughs> It's quite funny, you can pick the soap like according to your problem. Like if you've got gas, you can have a gastritis ulcer gas soap. Or cholesterol, or sexy time. Cool. I have to say, like considering we're pretty much in like the number one thing to do in the Paz, it's not very busy at all, it's quite nice. No, it's so quiet. I feel like maybe Bolivia isn't super touristy yet. Hmm. It's nice. Yeah, so like far it. we're really liking La Paz. So to every country we've been to, me and Laura have collected a shot glass. We've got a nice little collection now and when we uh, actually own a house we'll put them out on display. But do any of you collect anything to countries you've been to? Let us know. So we've come to the Witch's Pub which is in the Witch's Market and we've gone for this a uni beer which is where we're going in a few days. So we thought it'd be fitting to try some Bolivian beer. Cheers. Not quite a bit time. Right. Was waiting for you to say that. <laughs> it's alright. Now it's time for us to go and do something a little bit different. <laughs> Now, you might be wondering why we're watching grown men wrestling, but we're here for the Chilitas. These obviously aren't the Chilitas, it's their turn soon.
little kick to the bump. <laughs> After watching many of the guys wrestling, it was finally time for the Cholitas. And this is where the madness began. Until later that we learned there was actually a meaning to the Chalitas wrestling. Although it's obviously a bit of a crazy show, it's to show the history of domestic violence and how the Chalitas overcome abuse, which makes sense now why the male ref was ganging up on them. Well that was all pretty hectic wasn't it? That was fun though, but we're back in our Airbnb and not gonna lie it's kind of giving like grandma vibes, but all fine. But we picked up some takeaway on the way home and carrying on the Bolivia food, food tour, a Milanese? It's basically like their version of a schnitzel, so let's go try it. That is looking hella cheesy. Cheesy! It's good. Like a it's a fried chicken. What can go wrong? Yeah. We're gonna go munch this and we'll pick this up for more Bolivian fun tomorrow. <laughs> it's a new day in La Paz, Bolivia, and I have to say, we are struggling with the altitude a little bit today. We are feeling rough. The altitude sickness is kicking in. Yeah, getting a little bit of a headache, feeling a bit sick. Feel but sick, can't breathe. We've got some medicine, so hopefully that's going to help. Yeah. But today we are going to do a little tour around the uh, cable cards. Yeah. There's loads around La Paz that kind of all connect to do a little route. And the views look amazing, so. Yeah, I don't know the last time I've been on a cable car. <laughs> There's so many in South America as well, and we haven't been on any. I'm getting out of breath just talking to you. Yay! We're we've in. Got our own one.
time for us to go catch our nine hour night bus and we're off to a uni to go see the incredible salt flats. Can't wait. How do you even start building like this high up? Things that make you go, hmm. 